Have you ever wondered how much tackle a pro angler has? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm going to Luke Clausen's house. You know, he doesn't live very far from me. I've been there many times, and there's usually tackle everywhere. You know, and the crazy thing is, this is just one location that he has tackle. You know, he also has his truck and boat back east. He flies back and forth between tournaments. That thing's jam-packed, his whole rig. Then he also has a buddy's house a shop that he has even more tackle. I mean, that's where he found, uh, that's where he fell last year off the ledge. You know, you may remember that he basically almost died, fell off the ledge, had to sit out the rest of the year. And so that's three places that he has tons of tackle and he's not very organized. It's usually a mess. And I actually think it's better than it used to be before he got married. I think his wife made him clean it up a little bit, but we'll see what he has this time. There's usually boxes everywhere, basically booby traps trying to get around stuff everywhere so we'll see the answer to the question how much tackle does a professional angler have hey tyler well here it is uh where most of my tackle is back home here in washington you get asked a lot from people how much tackle do you have and i have a lot um i've actually gotten rid of a lot of it this year i've been trying to give away a lot of plastics and stuff to some of the local kids and different clubs and stuff around here but i still carry a lot it seems like the older i get inevitably i keep more because I remember the times when I was throwing a wiggle wart, the original, and I thought, ah, I'm not going to throw that anymore, and got rid of a bunch. Well, now they're hard to come by, and it seems like we see that a lot in this industry. On the other hand, there's some worms I've had since the seventh grade. I probably don't even swim anymore, and I'm never going to use them. So it's a constant process getting rid of stuff, but I'm a little bit of a tackle junkie too, and it's kind of a, like a safety blanket, I think. When you're really sucking, the more tackle you have, the more, better you feel about it. Like you, you got something new and exciting and great. And, uh, you know, it's it's almost like a kid with their binky. And when you're catching them, it seems like you don't really need very much. You got a few baits you have confidence in and you go through those streaks when it's not as good. You want to buy some more. And I got plenty of it. I'm more organized than I used to be, but it's still got long ways to go. And so I, I keep a lot of tackle here at home, but I have not this much, but I have a lot in my truck and boat. And I continually switch stuff out because I'm going all year out of one truck and boat. It goes back east, never comes back home. I go back and forth with a suitcase. So I'll sometimes take some stuff that I may want some smaller swim baits, uh, say some Z-Man swimming trout tricks for trailers or on a jig head, smallmouth fishing. I'll take some of those bags, but I may bring them back after that event if we're going to like a Waddington. Uh, I may use them there, and if we're going somewhere down south, I don't think I want them anymore, I'll bring them back. So there's a constant rotation of stuff, and I've gotten a little bit better about finding stuff. You can see all the blues, all Z-Man stuff, and um, like there's bat wings and craws, and they're at least in the same box. It didn't used to be that good, but they're at least there now. And uh, like I said, it's kind of an, an ongoing process. It's uh, I spent a lot of time out here trying to stay organized when you bring all that stuff back but then yet you're taking more back out you get new stuff you want to get rid of old stuff vice versa you're kind of constantly going through it and i'm sure i have way more than i need but it makes you feel better to have it than to not have it so that's the answer of how much tackle a pro angler has make sure to follow luke on youtube i'll put the link below but that's it it's a lot of tackle it makes me feel a lot better about my tackle hoarding when i come over here